Today on City Hall Plaza, advocates raised alarm over a federal appeals court decision affecting humanitarian protections for immigrants. As a result of yesterday's ruling, 300,000 immigrants from countries including Haiti and El Salvador could be subject to deportation starting in January. Advocates say some of those immigrants and their family members have lived in the U.S. as long as 20 years. This is kind of terrible for us because we live here, we home owners, we business owners, and one day they come in and say, no, you guys don't belong here. You guys need to go back to your country. So when this is our country, I feel and this is my country. Family separation is not just happening at the border in Texas. It's absolutely ridiculous to put young kids in um, a position of having to go back to a country that's been made dangerous because of U.S. intervention over the years that's you know depressed, that's lacking like economic um, opportunity that they would have here. Now is not a time to be talking about rescinding TPS. A, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. B, conditions in their home countries have yet to improve. And C, frankly, I just find this to be un-American. This is inconsistent with our values. We extend a hand and offer help to those in need. And now, after they've rebuilt their lives, been contributing members of our society for decades, we're going to take that hand away at a moment's notice in the middle of a global pandemic. That is not the America that I know and I love. These are folks that have lived in this, uh, in our city for over 10 to 20 years. Their kids have grown up here um, and they're business owners. They're, they're folks on the front lines. During COVID, uh, many of them are essential workers. And uh, for the, uh, the federal government to be pursuing this kind of policy, um, it's just it's just egregious and it's counterproductive to bringing the, uh, the, the nation together during this time. 